Hello everyone, today I'm doing another favorites video. I am rounding up items that include handbags, two handbags, two shoe pa pairs of shoes, uh, tops, jewelry, makeup. These are items that I purchased in February or March, or some of them I've had for a long time, but I found very similar items online, which just goes to show classics are continuously coming back, which is why I love them. They're timeless. I'll be wearing these items for a very long time. Uh, I want to start with one I didn't mention, which is a television show and a DVD. Now this is a new series on PBS that is by Holly Holden. She is the interior designer that I talked to you all about in a favorites video several months ago. I talked about her beautiful new book. Um, this is her beautiful new television series and she takes you on a personal tour of these magnificent homes across the world. The series opens with High Clear Castle, and the second episode is Blenheim Palace, or Blenheim, not sure the pronunciation, I don't remember. These are two homes in Great Britain. Let me read the description on the back of the DVD. Episode 1, High Clear Castle. You are cordially invited by the 8th Countess of Carnarvon to her iconic home, Highclere Castle, recognizable worldwide as the filming location for the television series Downton Abbey. Ever wonder what it's like to be a guest at one of the world's greatest houses? Savor the splendor of High Clear Castle with a private invitation from the 8th Countess of Carnarvon. Ride on horseback, explore the resplendent rooms, discover secret decorative details, and delight in afternoon tea. You are cordially invited to join me, Holly Holden, at High Clear Castle. Episode 2, Blenheim Palace. You are cordially invited by Lady Henrietta Spencer Churchill to her family home, Blenheim Palace, the only privately owned palace in England and a World Heritage Site. Ever wonder what it's like to be a guest at one of the world's greatest houses? For the first time ever, Lady Henrietta Spencer Churchill has invited a film crew into the private wing of her childhood home in England, the majestic Blenheim Palace. It's monumental in scale, yet the interiors are gloriously intimate and inviting. Prepare to be delighted. You are cordially invited to join me, Holly Holden, at Blenheim Palace. That's what I loved about these two programs is how private uh, this view is. And Holly is wonderful at explaining the names of so many of the things we see in the rooms and on the grounds. So I, I just learned so much from watching these. The episodes aren't very long. I think the whole runtime of this DVD is, let's see, 52 minutes and 47 seconds. Um, and Holly is just a really she's just really good at what she does she has beautiful taste I will put information about this DVD it's available at pbs.org but I think it has a slash after it so I'll put that on my blog also to find out when it is airing on PBS in your hometown it started in February and it's going through till June. So it's run in some cities, but not in others. For instance, it's already aired in Naples, Fort Myers, but it may or may not have aired in your town. So you can check this list at Holly's website to find out where it's already aired. And um, like I said, if it's already aired, you can get the DVD. Now, Holly was kind enough to send this to me. She did gift it to me. But I am a fan of Holly's. I have been a longtime fan. I discovered her, I think I discovered her on Instagram, or was it YouTube? I don't remember, but I'll put all the information about her on my blog. I'll put everything I talk about today on my blog, and that link to my blog will be down below. It will say all item links. So that is the DVD and the television show. Next is jewelry. These are two bangles, statement bangles I bought 
recently. Actually, I ordered them from online. They are from Talbots. They are easy to put on. They are enamel. They come in a bunch of colors, but I love enamel and gold. And that's, this is pink. Obviously you can probably tell that, but they have a name for it. I think it's vibrant pink or something. And this is, one of them is more, although it looks black, it's actually navy. I think they call it India ink. But together in this light, I can tell the pink is with a very dark navy and the ivory, which can be worn well with white also, uh, is mixed with black. Um, they have beautiful jewelry that lasts a really long time. In fact, um, I think I'll be wearing some of their other jewelry in some of my outfits I'll be showing that I've had for uh, over, over a lo very long time. So it's really good quality, faux gold. So very pretty. I think I'll keep the white one on. Ooh, that was loud. Okay, next is handbags. I have two. One of them is not old. It's got fuzz on it because I had it in a dust bag that's fuzzy. This is a wicker handbag. Wicker has come back strong. I love wicker bags. This one I got at Kate Spade, I don't know, maybe four years ago, five. I, it's been a while, but it's the cutest thing. You may remember Several years ago, wicker bags became very hot, very popular when Pippa Middleton was spotted carrying one in wicker with white, but bigger. I believe it was also Kate Spade. You can wear it in a dressier way or very casually. Just a fun look. Let me show you some of the great bags I found online. So that is my wicker bag. The other bag that actually is new is a small bag that can be a clutch or a shoulder bag. Is this also from Kate Spade? Um, this color is so pretty. It's called warm vellum. And it's, let me see, I guess you would say it's kind of a mauvey pink. And it's got this great shoulder strap with a removable um, clasp. You can remove it from the bag and use it as a clutch. And now, granted, it's not got a lot of room. I can't fit my wallet in here. I do put uh, my phone. I have an iPhone 6. I put my credit cards, cash, driver's license, that sort of thing, a lipstick, um, a few other things. That's about it. But it's a fun bag to have a crossbody with not a lot of weight. I love having a little bag sometimes because it just makes the outfit look different than if I have a larger bag. And I love changing out my bags. It's a fun way to really change the look of an outfit. So this is so cute. It is available right now. It's on sale. I love the, um, what do you call it? Well, it's got, studs here with faux diamonds. I don't know if you can see that. It's the cross hatched leather, but it's so cute. I found some others online as well if you don't want the, the bow detail, although you can always wear it towards you because it's plain on the other side. Let me show you some of the others I found also. How about I do these? These are my transparent sandals. Transparent is, or I should say transparency is very popular and is a trend this spring in clothing, in accessories, even in shoes. Now this isn't something that's new. Um, plastic shoes, I believe, came about in the 1940s when 
man-made materials began to emerge uh, and plastic shoes with, I believe, wooden wedge soles were very popular and they were sandals. They had strappy uh, plastic straps with wooden soles. And uh, depending on the style of the shoe, they can be very classic. Now let me show you a shoe that I wouldn't say is classic. Now that's a shoe that when you see that you think more probably exotic dancer or something like that. And that's fine if that's the look you want. But if you want a more understated um, traditional look, then pick a more understated traditional shoe. Now it's not an understated heel, but it is a timeless shape. It is a simple strappy sandal. If this was leather, you know, it, it would not stand out. It's a very classic shape. So that's why it works beautifully um, even in transparent material like plastic. Now these are from last summer, but I found almost identicals online. Let me show you those. The reason I love this type of sandal in the summer or spring and summer is because they create a nude look to the foot. So it's very elongating, especially with skirts because your leg just keeps going right down to your toes, especially when you have the high heel. So for someone like me who has shorter legs for my torso, I love that. Now, the key is to keep my outfit simple. If I want to have a, an understated look, I go for a more resort feel like sundresses or skirts and not too short. Um, again, it just depends on the look you're going for. I want a more understated classic look, so, uh, but I love it with white, with uh, pastel pink, and again, keeping the outfit simple. Now it's also great with uh, gowns, long gowns, because you've got the height and a uh, very understated foot is peeking out. All you see is the really the foot because you don't see this. So it works great with ball gowns too. I have a pair of shoes that have leather, pink leather and plastic and they go back, I don't know, 15 years, maybe 20 years. So it's, it's been around for a good long time. Okay, also another shoe with a heel is this Steve Madden pump. Oh, I forgot to say, these were by Soul Society, um, but I don't think they're available anymore. Steve Madden has this pump out right now and it comes in a bunch of colors and I love this color. It goes really well, I think, with this top. It's a mauve pink. It's not exactly like the Kate Spade mauve pink. Um, it's two different materials also. This is cross-hatched leather. This is patent. Now, initially I was, I ordered these. I was disappointed because I didn't realize they were faux leather. But they look so pretty on my foot I, and for a heel that is this high, I was surprised how comfortable they were. It's a little bit more than four and I guess it's almost four and three quarter inches high and this is a size 10, but I will tell you they run small, which is probably why they fit me. Normally, I cannot wear a 10 medium. These are a medium. Normally, I'm a narrow if it's a 10 in a pump but they fit me well, and I think that's because they're running small. Everybody is, well, a lot of people are leaving that review online, so keep that in mind. I will leave a link to where I bought these on my blog, but these are so pretty. I'm showing them dressed down in the outfit. Oh, I forgot to mention all the items I'm showing you, I'll put together in outfits. I'm going to show you four outfits at the end of the video, including the shoes. And I show it in a casual look, but this can be dressy so easily. I mean, with a pencil skirt, I love the look of these high, high heels. I think you would call this a stiletto, wouldn't you? 
oh, there was some funny noise going on. I just want to check my camera to make sure everything's okay and I'll be right back. My next item is actually two items. It's a sweater set. I absolutely love cardigans and if I can find a cardigan and a matching shell in a color that I love, it's hard for me to resist. This set is from Talbots. It's 60% cotton, 40% rayon, I think. But what makes it extra special is all this adorable scallop detail along the front and also on the three quarter length sleeves. The shell, let me show you, is sleeveless. So I love, you know, wearing these separately, wearing them together, mixing and matching them with other items. Like this looks, the shell looks so great under other sweaters or jackets. Uh, this cardigan can be worn just like this, or I can throw it over my shoulders, or I can tie it around my neck. Um, I like to use a cardigan tied around my waist. Now, I don't know I, if I could with, fit this around my waist because it's three quarter, but sometimes a dress, if it's like a t-shirt dress that has no waist or no belt, it's nice just to tie a cute sweater around your waist and it creates color, interest, and I've got a sweater in case I need it once I go in a restaurant or a grocery store. Here in Florida, it's always freezing, especially in the summer because the air conditioning is blasting. My next clothing item is this beautiful top. This also is by Talbots. Actually, it was gifted to me by Talbots. I picked it out. I knew I loved it from the moment I saw it because one, it was navy. Two, it was lace. And it had these beautiful tulip sleeves, I believe is what they're called. Just so feminine with beautiful detailing on the sleeves, these bows, everything about it just was so lovely. It has a zip up the left side, so it's easy to get into. It also has this place in back that unfastens. The sleeves are unlined, but the body is lined, so I don't have to worry about any under things showing. It's also a perfect length, so you can wear it out with skinny pants, skinny jeans, um, just a lovely, lovely top. Let me show you what it looks like on me. This is from, I don't know if I mentioned, the RSVP collection at Talbot's. And that is the division of Talbot's that is their dressy clothes. So if I'm wanting an outfit to go to a wedding or to Mother's Day dinner or Easter dinner or a wedding, that's the division of Talbot's I always look to. And these are items that are dressy, but like this top, I can dress it down also, which is so fun. They're refined. Just the detail, the workmanship is so lovely. Just a really, really pretty, pretty top. But they have tops, they have skirts, they have sweaters, pants, blazers, dresses, jewelry, shoes, handbags. I mean, you can get a complete outfit just in the RSVP collection. So I will, um, of course, put this together in an outfit at the end of the video. My last items are lipsticks. I'm wearing both of my lips. I have shown you this one before, the lipstick, but I don't think I have talked about the lip tint. I can't remember. It's been so long. Um, I absolutely love this line of lipsticks by Hemp Organics. The reason I love Hemp Organics lip colors is because the base is organic to which they add color pigments. So it's all natural, mostly organic. And so I know I'm wearing a very healthy form of lip color on my lips. 
Now these two colors are very, well I'd say they're kind of similar. Let me show you a swatch. The difference is this one is a lip tint, tint, so it's sheer, and this one is a lipstick. The lipstick has a bit of frost, and so does the tint. Um, alone, this is very similar to what you're seeing on my lips, but adding the tint just gives it a bit more shine and just a little bit more shimmer. It's very slight. I don't know, I just really like wearing them together. It's my favorite combination, these two. I love a frosty, shimmery um, pink. So that is all my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Coming up next, I'm going to show you my outfits. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.